Hey guys, it's Stoof and Nate from Travel Season and we are here today to show you guys the new RV cover that we were supplied with. We're happy to be collaborating with the company RV Masking. They sent us an RV cover for our travel trailer for us to show to you guys. We store our travel trailer outside at an RV storage facility, so it gets a lot of exposure to the sun when we're not on the road using it. Uh, so this is gonna be a great cover to help preserve the trailer, the seals longer, and uh, what else? Just keep the weather off it. Yeah, help yeah. keep the elements off of it. So we're excited to try this out. The instructions look pretty straightforward. We've never installed an RV cover before, so we'll see how easy or difficult it is for us. Yep, we look forward to giving you all the feedback on it. Um, like Steph said, we were supplied with this cover, but everything that we discuss in this video will be our genuine feeling and genuine reaction. All right, let's try it out. <laughs> Here Steph is unboxing everything. It comes with the cover, tire covers, gutter covers, straps, a weighted strap to help with tossing underneath the trailer, a cover for a motorized jack, instructions, and a bag to hold everything. RV Masking makes covers for a variety of RV types and sizes. Ours is the travel trailer cover for our 25 foot Apex Nano. We're going to jump into our installation now. If you like this cover, then check the video description below for a link where you can purchase one for your RV. You'll want to follow the preparation instructions for your type of RV. As you'll be walking on your roof, you probably don't want to do this on a rainy or snowy day, or one that is especially windy. Also before climbing onto the roof of your RV, make sure you know whether your RV has a fully walkable roof. You can usually find this information in your RV manual, ours is a mobile app, or consult your dealer or manufacturer or their website for this information. You don't want to damage your roof. This cover comes with gutter guards which are referenced in the preparation instructions. Also make sure any sharp edges on your RV are covered or taped. So as the instructions say, Steph is starting from the roof, pulling the cover up onto the roof where she's gonna unwrap it. There was a yellow tag on one end that marked that as the rear. So they aren't, they aren't marked, but I believe these might be the gutter guards. Here we're attaching the gutter guards to all four gutters at the corners of the RV. We actually missed this step during the prep work, so we're doing it now. Make sure the cover is aligned properly from front to back. Because this cover has zippers on each corner, you can just drop down each side of the cover freely and then from the ground zip those up to fully enclose all sides of your trailer. Alright, so one of the things that we're doing now is we're taking this smallest buckle loop, buckle strap, uh, spreading it out like this and there are straps and buckles in the front that these are going to connect into. So this is one that's got two male ends and then at the front there are going to be female buckles to receive these. So we're going to do that now. It was pretty simple to tighten this up, but I do think the instructions could be a little more clear. The full set of instructions are actually spread out across two separate packets. And as I said, we weren't quite sure if we used the correct straps to tighten the front and back of the cover. I think if the straps were labeled, like by number, color, or just anything unique, and then if those labels were referenced in the instructions, that would make the setup a little more clear. The instructions do say to not over tighten the straps. Something to consider is where your propane hoses or plumbing might be running underneath your trailer. Take care not to damage any part of your trailer during installation because that kind of defeats the purpose of getting a cover. You might notice that our stairs are still out. In order to put our stairs away, we're actually gonna to have to open up our door. One of the good things about this cover is that we can unzip. There are zippers at multiple locations across the side, 
so that we'll actually be able to unzip this section and roll that up to get to the door. So we just noticed there are actually Velcro straps on the cover, so once you unzip it, you can roll that section up and put those straps in there to keep that in place while you go in and out of the trailer. Now we're gonna finish closing up the RV, close up the door, zipper it back down. It also came with some tire covers that we're gonna put on once we get the trailer back in place where we store it. Yeah, so we're gonna, like Seth said, we're gonna zip it. There are also uh, locations uh, along the bottom that for extra straps that you can have it. Um, extra tight. Yeah. Uh, secure. Have uh, straps go underneath just across the bottom. And that's what that weight piece is for. So this is actually oh. has a little weight in it to help you toss <laughs> underneath. This is the first time we've ever had or used an RV cover. And after a couple hiccups during installation, self-inflicted, really should have read the preparation instructions before diving in, we were able to get this cover on pretty easily. Those corner zippers really make it simple to just drop the cover down. This cover did come with a cover for your power tongue jack, so we're just installing that now. Overall, this was a solid RV cover for us and a fairly simple installation process. It took us a little over an hour to do everything, but then we also had to move our trailer and move some cameras around and do all that recording stuff. Without that, it would have taken a lot less time. If you liked this cover too, then you can purchase it using our Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, then help us out by hitting that like button. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel if you aren't already, and hit that bell icon to be notified of our future videos. Happy travels!